Good morning everyone, here from Egypt once again. Today we are in Aswan. We're actually leaving Aswan later on at 5 p.m. We're gonna head to Cairo by train, but yeah, we do have until 5 to explore. So yeah, we're gonna be showing a bit of Aswan first. And the place that we're staying in is pretty cool. So this is just $32 a day. It's called Abazido Nubian Guest House pretty nice place they also had a really nice breakfast on the rooftop and the best part is this because look at this view right here absolutely incredible view on the Nile the best view we've had by far so you can see like the mountainous desert landscapes there huge sand dunes that in the middle is a botanical garden and it's just a really nice area all around nice and green everywhere cool palm trees here's some of the boats for the boat tours and yeah we're gonna be heading out on a boat tour right now so the place we're staying is really cool as well the island is called Elephantine and it's in the middle of the the Nile so we're not like on the the mainland and it's really quiet it's like a really traditional kind of village we're gonna show it later on in this video Beautiful view, right? Yeah, beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so this tour is gonna be uh, 150 per hour. Just depends how many hours we decide to stay on the Nile. We'll see. Maybe two or three hours. Whoa. All right, good. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nice mini boat. <laughs> So this is the first stop, a place called the Nubian Village. Look at this. Yeah, so this place, the Nubian Village, it's basically like the indigenous people of Egypt and uh, Sudan. So this is one of the villages that they live in. The island that we're staying on is actually a Nubian Village as well. So it's all like uh, nice and colorful here. Got all like the spices. Smells great, doesn't it? Yeah, all the spices. Yeah. So many different Smells things. really good. The colors as well. Yeah. Wow, look how colorful this place is. So our boat guide said that if we just walk back to the top, there should be like some locals' houses where we can drink some tea, right? Where is it? Then? I'm not sure. All I see is stores so far. Maybe up here. That's what I call a cool house. continue we're going to talk about the sponsor of this video Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN provider that we have been using on all of our devices while traveling for the last year and a half. Surfshark allows us to have a private connection anywhere in the world keeping our personal information and data safe from potential hackers. Besides this Surfshark also gives us access to all Netflix libraries. Different countries have access to different series and films on Netflix, but with Surfshark you can set your devices to any country in the world, giving you access to them all. 
Surfshark also allows you to avoid travel restrictions when visiting internet-restricted countries. Using Surfshark, you can access any website or app anywhere in the world. With just one single account, you can connect to unlimited devices, which means you can use it on all your family devices. Click on the link in the video description, which has the discount code JUMPINPLACES to get 83% off and 3 months for free, and that also includes a 30-day money-back guarantee. Yeah, so we found this spot here. It's kind of like a local's house converted into a restaurant. Check this out. Is that a real one? Yes, I think so. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, got crocs everywhere here. Loving the building though, look at this. Once again, super colorful. So apparently like Nubian villages and houses are always like this, super colorful. At the prayer from the mosque. Yeah. yeah. I got nice views from this place as well. Yeah, so we got our cold hibiscus drink. Very popular here in Egypt. We've been drinking that almost every day. We didn't ask the price, so yeah, we don't know how much it is. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, this is the same as uh, Jamaica in Mexico, which oh, is yeah. something that we love there, and they have it here too. Yeah. <laughs> and the boat tour was absolutely incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had like the little streams that we went down. Yeah, he took us to some parts where it was like very empty and also like just uh, trees everywhere. And it was very, very nice and very peaceful as well. Yeah, he took us to some spots where he said no tourists really go. Because uh, we basically just said we wanted to come to one of these villages and uh, go to a beach, which we'll do on the way back, a beach on the Nile. There's loads of little beaches and loads of hotels as well, right on the Nile, like isolated Nubian hotels. Really, really, really cool. So that was funny, we asked how much and the girl just said how much you want, <laughs> like no price, just how much you want to give us. I think we gave around like five dollars, which probably more than it is anyway, but yeah, that was just uh, a bit strange. And so I guess this is more like the local area, interesting little houses. Look at this one, it kind of looks like it's made out of, uh, I guess mud, right Carol? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. That's a funky looking building as well. Yeah, just all these little like sandy alleyways everywhere. This is intense heat, right? It's so hot. Yeah. And I think it's gonna get worse in the next days, but luckily we'll, we'll leave to another area. Of yeah, Egypt. Cairo is cooler. Yeah. Yeah, so the last two days it's been uh, like 40 degrees Celsius in the desert. Pretty much zero wind, so yeah, it's just super boiling. I wonder what this spot is here. <laughs> Maybe it's like a school or something, it looks like it. So we've got an empty store here. I think maybe the vendors are praying now because the prayer's going on at the, the mosque. I did get this bracelet though for 30. And this shop really smells great. I wish you could uh, smell it. All these different spices and herbs everywhere. Nice and colorful as well. The entire shop's beautiful. Look at this for a nice shop. Oh, it really does smell great though. It's like little flowers, I guess. What's your name? Sabrina. Fatima. Sab Sabrina. Sabrina. Fatima. Fatima. Okay. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Nice bye -bye. to meet you. 
Sabrina, that's like a, it's a what name? Foreigner name? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't sound local, many, right? Many countries have that name. Yeah. All right, here's our boat. On to the next location. Yeah, so all along here, look at the hotels. All on the sandy mountainside. There's not that many boats going around here as well, it's pretty relaxed. It's unusual that you have these big rocks as well in the middle of the water. So all around there's like little rocks everywhere. Enjoying the scenery here a lot more. Do you think it's better scenery? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, especially the sand dunes, the big mountains. Yeah, we didn't see anything like that on the on the cruise, like the sand dunes. Only far in the distance. Here, it's super close. Pretty clear the water, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Check that as well on top of the hill. It's like a historic uh, mausoleum. I think that's what you call it. Like a burial temple kind of thing. What is it? Doggo. Oh, doggo. The Nile doggo. Hello. Looks suspicious. <laughs> So the guy said we can get some viewpoints if we walk up the sand dune. Super hot though, so yeah, I'll have to see how this goes. I think he said to go here first and then cut up. Maybe too hot to do this. Yeah. Do we go up here or further down there? I'm not sure. We also got another beach area here. I think we like a restaurant back there. So there are many beach places around here. I'm already out of breath. So we decided against it because uh, the ground absolutely boiling hot, the sand. And we're in uh, flip-flops, so yeah, we're just chilling the water instead. <laughs> Ice cold, isn't it? Yeah, especially <laughs> with the difference from yeah. the heat of like the desert. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're just going to have to jump in. There's no crocodiles in here, by the way. That's what the, the guy told us. They're all in the lake back there. I'll go in first. Okay. Good oh. luck. <laughs> Man, it really, I can, I'm surprised by how cold it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it take a while to get used to this. <laughs> cool rock there, isn't it? Yeah. I'll swim to it. Can't touch the ground here. No? No. Yeah. I didn't think we expected to swim in the river now when we no. came here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the water is very clear. So yeah, it's super clear. It's he said they fine. drink it, don't they? Yeah. They don't treat it or anything, you can drink it. So it's cool, not long ago we were in the Amazon River and now in the River Nile swimming. Probably two of the most awesome rivers in the world. <laughs> ah, she went for it.
All right, so now we're heading to the train station. Just gonna get a bite to eat here on the island first. And I'll just show you quickly the cool island that we're on. So as I said at the start, this is a really traditional like village. It's also a Nubian village, so it's just like the one that we visited. Just not as uh, colorful, although that's pretty nice there. Look at that, Portuguese bem-vindo. Welcome. That's not even Spanish, right? That is, that is Portuguese yeah, from Brazil. Bem-vindo. Yeah. So me and Kyle were thinking that this kind of reminded us of the desert villages that we went in uh, in India, like a Jodhpur and Jaisalmer. Yeah, it's a very similar vibe, very laid back yeah. and authentic. Dogging. Dogging. That was the little dog that was biting us yesterday. Yeah, biting my dress. <laughs> Last night. Yeah, so we really screwed up by not staying longer in Aswan. We had no idea it was going to be like this, uh, so laid back. Like in a lot of Egypt, you get people kind of hassling you all the time, trying to sell you stuff, but not in this place. Like the Nubians around here, just super relaxed. Yeah, just nobody bothers you at all. They're just all friendly. No one asking for money all the time if you ask for help. They just help you. I don't think it's like this uh, in the, the main area. Of Aswan. Just, yeah, of Aswan. But here in this island it is like that. And maybe other parts in other islands that have the same um, uh -huh. Nubian people. And yeah, it was just regret that we are not staying longer here. So if you're tired of the scammers and the hustlers, this is definitely the island to stay on. Amazing place. So this restaurant has a really interesting entry. So you get the ferry boat here and then you have to walk around here to get to the, the restaurant. But it's a really cool restaurant, King Jamaica. That's the main town over there. You can already hear the extra noise. <laughs> Alright, nobody here today. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yesterday it was busy. So this right here is the reason why we came back to King James. It's good King food. Jamaica. Oh, King Jamaica. <laughs> King James. <laughs> yeah, look at this view. So this is the other side of the island. So that's facing the main city of Aswan. The busy area. And yeah, that's just where we get the boat across right here. It's very close, the, the ferry ride but a pretty awesome view to have a meal once again. We ended up getting the exact same food as yesterday since it was so delicious. So I got the kofta, which is a kind of a minced meat with spices, really tasty. And that comes with like this uh, bread here. Uh, what's that? Tahini, right? Yeah. Yeah, tahini. And I got some rice here and salad. And what's yours called? Uh, vegetable tahini. And I think they gave us another one for free. <laughs> Oh yeah, yesterday they gave you an extra plate yeah. for free, right? What is that, like potato or something um, else? Aubergine. Oh, aubergine. Yes. Like spicy? No. Not really? Not much, no. <laughs> what about this? This one was more spicy than the other one, at least yesterday. Yeah, that's like carrots, uh, peas. It's boiling. Potatoes, yeah, I can see. <laughs> yeah, it's very tasty. Yeah, it's super tasty. We love the food here, right? It's like almost Indian level. Yeah, it's very good. So I also got this tea here, which is called Nubian tea, and it's just milk and uh, cardamom. You can actually see the cardamom right here. Also reminds me a bit of India with the masala chai. Cardamom is one of the ingredients there. You know you're a true Brit when you're drinking boiling hot tea mm -hmm. in boiling hot weather. 
I can't. <laughs> I sure can. Join us in the next video as we'll be getting on the sleeper train from Aswan to Cairo and reviewing the journey. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one, follow us on Instagram and we'll see you around.